Hey everyone, this is David Oz of Medicine. Let's talk about CSF leaks. A CSF leak occurs when the fluid that surrounds and cushions the brain and spinal cord leaks through a hole or a tear in the dura mater, which is the outermost layer of the meninges, the protective covering of the brain and spinal cord. After skull and skull, we have dura mater, which protects our brain and spinal cord from the trauma. Uh, CSF leaks can occur in the skull or along the spinal cord. When the leak occurs in the skull, the CSF can drain through the nose or ears. Let's talk about causes quickly. We have trauma, head injuries, accidents or surgery, especially involving skull or spine, can cause a tear in the dura mater. Spontaneous, some CSF leaks can happen without any clear cause, often due to weak spots in the dura or increased in intracranial pressure. Surgery, previous brain or sinus surgeries can result in a CSF leak, especially if the procedure involved the skull base or nasal passages. Tumors, tumors in the brain or spine can lead to CSF leak by eroding the dura mater. Connective tissue disorders like Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, which we have video, you can find it on top right corner. Marfan syndrome can make the dura more fragile and prone to leaking. The symptoms, the most common and notable symptoms, clear watery drainage from the nose or ear. Other signs and symptoms we can see are positional headache, severe headache that worsens and when sitting or standing and improves when lying down. Nasal discharge, clear watery fluid from one nostril. Tinnitus, ringing in the ears. Neck pain or stiffness. Vision changes blue vision or double vision, hearing loss may occur in the CSF is leaking into the ear, dizziness or vertigo, metallic taste in the mouth, nausea vomiting, which may occur due to intracranial pressure changes. And how to differentiate a CSF leak from other conditions? First, we have clear watery discharge. Unlike mucus, CSF fluid is thin and watery, not thick or sticky. It often has a salty or metallic taste. Unilateral CSF leaks typically occur in one side of the nose or ear. And positional headaches that improve when lying down. Hallmark symptom. And for treatment, we have different options depending on the severity. Common options are... First, we have conservative management for small uncomplicated leaks. For that, we could do bed rest, lying flat for an extended period can help the body heal the leak. Hydration, drinking fluids can increase CSF production and help replace lost fluids. Caffeine, caffeine can help reduce headaches associated with CSF leaks and also avoid straining activities like mm, heavy lifting, straining or bending over. We have epidural blood patch a procedure where a small amount of the patient's own blood is injected into the epidural space to form a clot sealing the leak. This is often used for spinal CSF leaks. Surgical repair for larger or persistent leaks. We have endoscopic or direct repair. For cranial leaks, surgeons may use an endoscope to access and repair the leak through the nasal passages. And for spinal leaks, we do direct repair. Surgery may involve directly patching the mater to stop the leakage. Lastly, uh, to prevent or treat meningitis if, if infection is suspected, we could give antibiotics. At the end, CSF leaks can lead to serious complications like meningitis, so prompt diagnosis and treatment are crucial. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to watch our other videos I will be putting in the screen. And don't forget to join our channel membership.